Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Phoebe here from Phoebe's Creations. Uh, thank you guys for coming back to my channel and taking a look at this video. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you a whole new series. This is called Living Off the Grid, and so obviously this is part one. And with Living Off the Grid, I have kind of created my own regulations for this challenge. And so I'm going to kind of go through just a little bit there's not a whole lot of rules and there's no scoring at the end because as much as I love those challenges that people create I honestly can't keep track of a scoring system it's just not who I am and really honestly I mean I just can't keep up with that and remember that later so uh, this is just kind of my way of going about things and so this is our house here and it's a pretty nice house um, it's got that cabin type feel to it and it doesn't have everything that I want in it right now so I'm not going to upload it to the gallery until I have earned more money and can put back to it what I want to. Uh, but for right now this is a cabin type feel. It has an outdoor area. I will probably have to add a foundation to it at some later point. Uh, but to go into a backstory here, uh, before I started building the house I laid down all these trees. The reason why is it gave it an outdoor feel, but also it took money to do so, obviously. And so that took my budget quite down a lot. Then I chose these nicer windows and doors uh, because that, again, took more money out of it. And then for, uh, what do you call it? Wall coverings, nicer again, same with more doors. However, anything that's not in the structural feature was then not as expensive uh, because she can't obviously afford it after that point. So this is our house. I'll just, you know, show you around. This is going to be the l dining room or living space, as you may call it. This is the work area, uh, the bedroom, the bathroom, and maybe possibly uh, like what you would consider a kitchen area, but it's more of a passing area. And this house is halfway outdoors, uh, just because you're living outdoors, you want to be outside. And as you can see, there is no stove, there is just the grill. And there are gardening beds, and she has an easel and a working table. Okay, so there's obviously no light in the game right now, and it's dark. That is because, now we get into the regulations, there will be no electricity, unnecessary electricity for right now. So for right now, I'm not going to have her have any lights in her home. That might change at a later time. I'm not quite sure about that one yet. But I do have candles, so we rely on daylight and candles. And I'm sure I'll have a ton eventually, but for right now, that's what it is. And I can't remember if candles use electricity. I'm sure they do with the bill system. But um, that kind of gave it more of, you know, a story for the background, as you could say. So she can have candles. She just can't have light. In the bathroom, we have a toilet and a sink. Absolutely no tub or shower. Pretty much everything that we want in our home needs to be built from the crafting table. Uh... There are some exceptions to that, and as we come through those, we will we will uh, come up with those. Um, I don't know if you can make a toilet. I can't remember. I haven't worked with it a lot. I know you can make like a tub and stuff, or at least I'm pretty sure. And so I I was nice though, and I did give her a bed. And so the w she will not be allowed to have a career outside the home. So the only way that we're going to have income is gardening, workman's table or craftsman's table, easel, fishing, and collecting items through the world. And so with that, then she can create her life. She's obviously family orientated, so I'm going to be maybe bringing in a second person, um, but that's all going to come at a later time. So uh, welcome to part one. And now that we kind of got out of that boring intro, regulations, all this stuff, now we can actually go in and play. Oops, we were already in play mode. So, uh, like I said, this is Suki Mae, and we're so excited to play with her. And so jumping in here, um, she lives by a fishing area. We're going to ri go right to the crafting table, and, well, actually, 
let's buy our seed packs first. Uh, we're gonna purchase herbs. We're gonna purchase vegetables and herbs. There we go. And if you guys haven't gardened before, that's all right. You have to open your seed packets, and then it's kind of random, unfortunately, what you get. So I've gotten carrots and stuff. So do a couple carrots, mushroom, spinach. And then we'll put our basil over here and our parsley. And there is no rule of how many plots for gardening we can have. It's just she couldn't really afford more than two of them for right now. So we're doing it kind of like this. And thankfully there are no seasons in the game yet because I'm sure they wouldn't like you having like an open door right to your house. So we're going to get planting these and then we'll water them. Kind of get everything set up for what's to come. And I'm fast forwarding time just because she kind of takes a while. And then we're going to go ahead and water those. And oh, one already popped up out of the ground. So we'll just keep fast forwarding. And I'm hoping... I can never really figure out the timing of bills. So I'm hoping they don't come around for a while here. And so we're, we're watering these. And then I think that we're going to set up on the table. So let's do a horse sculpture. And the idea is that it gives, it requires you to take $10 or 10 simulants. The goal is to get at least that back in profit so we don't lose that. Anything else that we get is, you know, a bonus at this point. It really is. And painting really, once you become skilled in it, can really pay off. Um, so, I mean, it's not like we're going to be really broke or anything you know which is good so we're gonna keep going with this we'll do another one and sh right now she's doing fine uh, I'm glad they can't get like the dark trait or whatever like they could in Sims 3 when you didn't have lights in the game and so she finished another one let's see she made ten dollars extra this oh uh, she kind of butchered it so no all right, so she's getting you know, a little bit hungry, and she needs to have some fun. So let's go to this fishing spot right by our house, and see if we can catch anything. Oh, and it looks like we can go over there and dig for something when we're done. So we can see that there's fishies in here. Let's see if we can catch anything. Well, I don't know. Yes, I did just screenshot. Uh, I wish it wouldn't give me away when I do it. Okay. So we haven't caught anything yet. It's almost the evening time. It says that it's too high of an area for us which is okay but it gave her some fun she found a piece of limestone so we're gonna go ahead and sell this and that was 50 and then we're going to grill some hot dogs boy that's 32 simulons for hot dogs that's kind of expensive so she's uncomfortable why is she uncomfortable from pinch finger well, suck it up. <laughs> okay, so grab a serving, and now you're not having fun again. So, ooh, let's say hello to Liberty Lee. Oh, now this was the NBC that I really liked when The Sims 4 was coming out. Uh, at th this was like the NBC that I originally had one of my Sim pictures as. This is really cool to get to meet her in... Well, I would say in person, but I guess we're in a game. So, whatever you want to call it. So let's get to know her, make her like our friend, and maybe, just maybe, we'll start to have fun. Her fun level's still going down. But, I mean, she's making a friend at least, so that's good. Uh, 
Okay, so she's talking to her. She found out she's a geek. Uh, we've got in a comedy skill. Uh, let's enthuse about oral doors. And have a deep conversation. Meanwhile, while they're yapping away, let's go see what else is here. Oh, yes, there is a local gardening place. Uh, let's see if we can find any frogs. Oh, she gave her a hug. And then let's go find some frogs. So we're running, kind of skip a doodling along. We come across some frogs here. And we one. Yay! Oops, let's see. That was $10, so we're going to sell that. And now it's 7.13, uh, so it's getting kind of late. But let's see if there's any other fishing spot. I, real I don't think there is. Ooh, but, oh, I was wrong. But we did find this. And let's look through for frogs. So she's coming over. And I know I'm kind of going back and forth between fast forwarding, but uh, it kind of takes a while for them to walk. So let's see what we found. Looks like maybe a gem of some sort. Woo! Rose. We can sell that. Now we're already back up to 300. And we found another leopard frog. Let's see how much that is. That was a hundred! Okay. Now we're doing pretty good. We're, we're getting pretty lucky now. Okay, so we're going to try fishing more, and even though I'm kind of in what it says a high level spot, I am going to keep fishing just because it raises my skill. And right now I don't really want to spend money on a bookshelf. So, we're going to kind of have to learn our skills from nature. So, hoping that it can get up to one more. She doesn't have very much longer to go. And there's some fireflies. Give Yay, she caught man. one. It says Suki can now catch bass, koi, and trout that contain them. And that fish was worth eight dollars. Alright. Well, she's got in a second. Maybe she'll get a second one. Yes! This one was a bass and it was 32. Wow. You, if you take the time to look outside, you really can make a substantial amount of money to get you by. Alright. Well, she's getting pretty tired now. So, I think we're going to wrap it up and bring her back home. And so, that, that wasn't bad for one day. You know, we've got in... Now we have, you know, almost 450, and she's really tired, and I wonder why the candles aren't going off. Hmm. Well, maybe we have to have a light. Let me test this out just really quick, because I'm not sure if that plays a part of it or not. Turn on all lights. Nope. Hmm. I'm not sure why those candles won't light. Or maybe they... Oh, you know what? I don't think these candles light. I think these ones are just for decoration. Because I know that... Well, shoot. Um, Because I know that these ones light. I'm not sure if these ones do. If any of you have seen these light, please let me know. I'm sorry. I do not... 
I hate you. I admit that I don't know everything about this game because I there. Even though this game is two months old, there are still there's still so much that I really just haven't uh, done or paid attention to for that matter. So there we go. Now we have a little bit of light instead of just decoration. And so, like I said, if you guys have had those candles light up, please tell me. Uh, but she's sleeping, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. This was a pretty successful day. You know, we kind of we got our plan started, and we've seen how to make a little bit of a profit. Uh, so stay tuned for part two. Um, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this intro and you'd like to see more. If there's any ideas that you guys have to add to regulations or to kind of some rules or what you'd like to see, uh, comment below or tweet me and let me know and I will do my best to implement everything that you guys suggest. Uh, so thanks again and hope to see you guys soon.